morning, afternoon, and evening, Rams, and welcome back to another episode of the WCU Weekly. Bringing you this week's news is the B team, aka the best team, Calvin Carr. And Evan Vatia. Here we are in the second week of October. Halloween is only three weeks away, so we hope everyone starts brainstorming ideas for costumes, parties, movie binging, and other spooky activities. How dare you remind me I only have three weeks left to finish my costume. Oh, who are you going as this year, my guy? Um, I might have an idea. I don't know. Um, I might make a, make a name for myself this year. I don't know. Um, how about you? I see. Yeah, I might, uh, I might have some ideas, too. All right. Yeah. See, great minds think alike. Let's go. go. Um, but what I do need to know right now is whether or not we should start busting out our fall jackets this week. Ooh, asking you shall receive. Calvin, Rochelle, the floor is all yours. Thanks, guys. Hi Westchester, I'm Michelle here with this week's five day weather forecast. We start the week off with a rainy day with a high of 69 degrees. It'll cool off later in the day with a low of 50. Don't worry, the rain should slow down in the afternoon. Moving on to Tuesday, we see mostly sunny skies with a high of 65 and a low of 46. Wednesday brings a high of 65 and a low of 49 with mostly sunny skies. On Thursday, we see nice sunny skies with a high of 68. Temperatures will lower to 47 at night. And finally, on Friday, we see clear sunny skies with a high of 67. Temperatures will drop to 48 when the sun goes down. That's it for this week's forecast. I'm Rochelle. Have a good week, Rams. Thanks for the update, Rochelle. Let's hope that that great fall weather can be followed by even greater things to do on campus. Calvin, what's going on in WCU? Hey, Stargazers. Hope you're paying attention because the Astronomy Club will be hosting a free planetarium show on Tuesday, October 8th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Just head on over to the Mather Planetarium at the Marion Science Center so you can join club advisor Dr. Gagne in uncovering the mysteries of a black hole. Just make sure to RSVP for this out-of-world adventure on the Ram Connect page ahead of time. And then next week, myself and a ton of talented individuals will be performing our first main stage production in the Department of Theater and Dance, Be More Chill. This quirky, heartfelt sci-fi musical centers around the nerdy Jeremy here as he attempts to find his voice in the eighth circle of HE Double Hockey Sticks, that is high school. His journey ultimately leads him to discovering a supercomputer pill known as a squip that while well, it promises to upgrade his social reputation, might have more sinister intentions within its mysterious programming. Be More Chill will run from October 17th, 18th, and 19th at 7.30 p.m. and October 20th at 2 p.m. in the Madeline Wayne Adler Theater. So be sure to get your tickets to come support our Thespian Rams. Oh, well that, uh, that sounds just, uh... Yeah, yeah. no, um, think like Scott Pilgrim the Musical, but mm. overall, it's a hilarious show with a lot of relatable themes about, you know, social anxiety and friendship, and it's all powered by an astounding crew of actors, directors, musicians, and designers. Well, Calvin, I wish you and everyone else the best of luck. Thank you, my friend. We're going to need all the help we can get during Tech Week. All right, let's see what's happening on the more athletic side of campus. Take it away, Carrie. Hey, Golden Rams. My name is Carrie Dillon, and I'm your host for sports. We have some exciting games and matches coming up for our fall sports this week. Tuesday, we have men and women's golf at the Alvernia Fall Invitational, as well as men and women's tennis play St. Thomas Aquinas at home at 2 p.m. Wednesday, we have men's soccer versus Kutztown at home at 3 p.m. Women's soccer plays Shepherd University at 11 a.m., field hockey at home versus Shippensburg at 4 p.m., and women's tennis faces University of the District of Columbia in D.C. at 2 p.m. On Friday, men and women swim and dive faces off in the PSAC Fall Invitational, participating at 1 and 5 p.m. Women's volleyball plays at Shepherd University at 7 p.m. Saturday is a very busy day for our athletics, so get out there and support our Golden Rams. Our football team plays at home at 12 p.m. versus Shepherd University. Women's soccer goes up against East Stroudsburg at home at 12 p.m. At 2.30, men's soccer plays against Gannon University, also at home. Women's rugby plays at Navy at 2 p.m. and volleyball plays at Shippensburg at 1 p.m. Go out and support our athletes. Make sure to tune in to WCU Weekly every week. My name is Carrie Dillon and thank you for tuning in. Hi everyone, I'm Paige. I'm Tori. And I'm Ava. And, and this, this is, is the, the Smartest, smartest Ram. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Salia Lawson, Jeremy Hampton, Cora Heiser. Jude. Hey, Jude. Patrick. Cole Rollins. Riley. Uh, Justin. 
Matthew Morris. And we're going to be asking some trivia questions. So first question is, who is on the quarter? <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know who's on the quarter. <laughs> Washington. George? George? <laughs> yes. Not curious, George. Yeah, George no, Washington. Like, yes. George, Washington. George Washington. George Washington, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Correct. George Washington. Correct. Okay. It's not Ben Franklin. It's George Washington? Yeah. Are you serious? I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, is it George Washington? Yes. Uh, Thomas Jefferson. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number two. How many planets are there in the solar system? Eight. Eight. Correct. Okay, oh, yeah, period. Do we count Pluto? No. Eight. Correct. Okay. Eight. Correct. Eight. Correct. Eight. Correct. Uh, eight. Correct. Let's go. Right. I also know this one. Question number three. Who is the statue <laughs> in front of the castle building at Westchester University? Frederick Freddie Douglas. Freddie Douglas. I said Frederick it Douglas. Douglas. I said it first. <laughs> okay. I can tell you why, too. He died 19 days after he gave a speech here at Westchester University. Oh, period. Wasn't his last speech? Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Frederick Douglass. Correct. Woo! <laughs> oh, Frederick Douglass. Correct. Frederick Douglass. Correct. I know who it is. Um, what's his name? Oh my gosh, I forget his name. Uh, I'm sorry, I forget what Okay, it wrong. Is. Frederick Douglass. Yeah, Frederick Douglass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, I swear I knew that. Yeah, okay. Uh, Frederick Douglass. Correct. <laughs>